So this is my 2020 Nitro Z21 walkthrough video. I want to show you everything that I've got on my boat for this season for fishing the Bass Pro Tour and all the tools that I'll use you know, throughout the whole year and stuff that'll help me be more efficient on the water and hopefully in turn catch more bass fishing that major league fishing series so starting up here at the very front actually just filmed down at chickamauga last week for the the hunt for monster bass show on the outdoor channel so i've still got my dalco cover right here rolled up where i took it off and just uh, just propped it up right here on the front so got that there really really good quality cover um you know something i've been running for several years now old Trex trolling motor no surprise there 112 uh, pound thrust my new mega 360 from hummingbird really great addition right there um, that, that mega 360 is just unbelievable one thing that i do i'll come around over here and show you actually on my 360 though if you see it on other boats you may notice that this looks a little bit shorter i actually cut seven inches off of that shaft on that 360. you know me i'm a shallow water guy i love to fish up shallow if you want to slide your old tracks up, you'll end up hitting the bottom of that 360 with the foot. If you slide it down in deep water, you end up hitting the top of that 360 shaft because it's so long. So for me, I'm able to cut seven inches off of that and it works perfect. I'm able to slide that up and down and get it out of the way as well as the trolling motor. Two Hummingbird Helix 12s up there, one dedicated just for 360. And then the other one I run Lake Master mapping and 2D sonar on the other one. The one closer to me is the one I run 360 on. Just like to get that picture as close as I possibly can. Of course, got my HydroWave over there, my foot switch for my talons. Uh, that's mounted up on a TH Marine Kong mount, a TH Marine um, G Force handle on the trolling motor. Some more uh, TH stuff up here. Of course, the HydroWave. Those uh, those little cable, you know, cable collectors. I don't have my my wire tamer on here yet i will have i just haven't got that in yet um, but that'll be coming soon just finished up all the carpet decals today actually so we got all this stuff laid out here in its right order as you'll be seeing it hopefully plenty on live this year on the bass pro tour coming back just a little bit further right here we've got some mounts this is actually a new sponsor for me this year something i'm really excited about as partner up with with rail blazer they are a company that makes all different kinds of mounts um, that you can put on bass boats, aluminum boats like my tracker over there, kayaks. They make stuff for every type of boat out there. Something that's going to hold anything that you want to be held on your boat, so, stuff that you want to keep in place. One of the things I'm personally really excited about is like this boom pole right here. This thing for mounting a GoPro to be able to capture that action while we're out there fishing is going to be really, really handy. Got a little short version here too um, but a lot of these different camera mounts be able to get different angles as well as something to be able to hold you know your phone and make one of these that can hold your tablet that's also something i'll be carrying with me more out there on the water this year is that a tablet so having a device holder and the great thing this isn't one of them but they make one that's a usb powered so you can run power to that so you can power all that stuff the gopro or tablet none of that stuff's any good if it's dead so being able to have one of these that's powered with that usb plug be able to plug that in and uh and make it work um of course up here everything's still the same on, on my z21 rod box over there plenty of storage here in the middle uh, middle three boxes and over here on the starboard side i use a lot of times put my spinning rods over here as well as my soft plastics down in that box a uh, big cooler right there Actually, one of the differences, one of the few changes on the Z21 this year is right here at the console. Redesigned console, but man, to make this thing so much easier to work on, you can just pull this windshield off and you can get to access everything behind the dash right there. It's really clean, sealed up. If you look up from the bottom, pulling that windshield off, you're able to get to everything so much easier than what we ever have been before. So that's a huge, huge plus right there. If you're rigging your graphs, doing any wiring back there, you don't have to lay down on the bottom and work up under, you know, work upside down like you had to before. So a huge plus, big improvement. Coming back here to the console, you got two more Helix 12s. For me, I, people ask me all the time, they're like, you know, why do you prefer the Helix over the Solix? What's the difference? Why should I pick one over the other? For me, I know the Helix well. I've run it for several years. I've run that system that's in there all the way back to the, the core units, the 999, the 1199 all those units the menu in these helix is exactly the same 
It's not a touch screen, and I'm good with that. I'm not crazy about touching the screen and getting it dirty all the time, having to constantly wipe those fingerprints off. So I love the Helix. They're bulletproof. I never have any trouble out of them, and they produce an unbelievable picture with side imaging, down imaging, mega imaging, 2D, Lake Master. I just I know those inside and out and have so much uh, so much good success in history with them. Uh, touchpad dash here that's also new for this year on the uh, on the 20 model uh, 2020 model of course my hot foot under the dash um, like I said some some more of those rail blazer mounts I'll be putting one of those right here to hold my phone and that'll be going there right here something I've been testing the last couple years with Dalco is this cruise air seat and it's actually a factory option now from Nitro to be able to get those cruise air seats right there in your boat with it so even my co-angler, or not my co-angler, but my boat official this year, cameraman, whoever's riding with me over there, he'll get to enjoy the comfort of a Dalco cruise air seat as well. So really awesome seat. A big cushion here, major lumbar support in the back. That thing will come all the way to like that far forward to be able to push you up against the steering wheel to just give you that support you need in those rough water events. Fishing up, you know, Champlain this year, even Fork down in, down in, uh, Texas can get rough, so going to some places where you definitely need that. Of course, big storage boxes back here on the side. Um, live wells there in the middle step with some storage in it. Back here in this back box, one thing you got to make sure you've got is plenty of power. And I always do with my lithium pro batteries. Um, I run four 12 volt. 100 amp hour batteries is the is the system that I prefer to run personally. I like the way that that works. Um, I'm able to run a Minn Kota 460 PC charger. I don't have to run any kind of a different charger, but those lithium batteries are just unbelievable. This is actually just the second year on this set of trolling batteries. Um, I had ran the previous set for seven seasons is what I had ran that previous set of, of trolling batteries for. And after seven years, they were still working well. Um, they weren't quite at the capacity where they were, you know, to begin with. We felt like it was time to, to retire that set. And I actually still keep them as a spare, you know, just to, to keep them around. And probably going to put them over into my tracker um, coming up here pretty soon. But excellent, excellent power source. Unbelievable warranty. And uh, best batteries I've ever used by far. Uh, spare prop down in there. Um, Proper inch, spare troll motor prop, rope. But then back here, certainly not the least part of the boat, but just the last two 10-foot talons on tilt brackets. I like those tilt brackets. I'm liable to be going under some, some low-hanging stuff, but really easy to use, you know, tilt brackets to lay those down. If you had a low garage door, you don't need to be able to get into that. Those tilt brackets can, can certainly help with that. Uh, 12 inch Atlas jack plate hanging my Mercury 250 Pro XS on the back of that um, and that's a uh, and that's pretty well it my side image transducer mounted down here on the you know on the back and that's uh, that pretty well pretty well wraps it up back here at the back end of the boat but man just a uh, really excited you know for this second season the Bass Pro Tour 2020 it's going to be another another great year i really really believe so so i think this ship will do me do me well